The Food and Drug Administration has approved an opioid overdose antidote for over-the-counter use for the first time. This comes as overdoses have hit record highs in recent years. News Channel 3's Samantha Lumibau joins us live at Eisenhower Health tonight in Ranch and Raj, where she spoke with doctors who say this is a big step in the right direction. Samantha. John, it is definitely a huge step. Now, Narcan has been available at pharmacies without a prescription for quite some time, but now with FDA approval, this treatment will be more accessible and readily available. This small, pocket-sized nasal spray is Narcan, a naloxone treatment that with one click and you put it into the patient's nostril, can reverse the effects of opioid overdoses. And then completely deploy it so that we get the medication completely in. With FDA approval, Dr. Anantha Singaraja and Dr. Manny De Jesus at Eisenhower Medical Center say it's a game changer. We need to work towards that solution and be a part of it and accessibility first. Narcan will no longer only be found on pharmacy counters, but will also be sold in places like drug stores, convenience stores, grocery stores, gas stations, and online. We've increased accessibility, and not just accessibility, but it's going to be available in more locations just throughout the United States, which is pretty exciting. In the last few years, overdoses have increased significantly. In the last two years, the bridge program, we've administered over a thousand units of Narcan from the ER and in inpatient units. And in just two weeks, festival season kicks off in the Valley, a time when doctors see a rise in overdoses. We definitely see more overdoses during this time. Younger population, accessibility to the illicit drugs. If people have the opportunity to carry it with them to the festivals, more power to them and is again being part of the solution. They say by understanding how it's used, you can potentially save a life. I know firsthand being in the crowds, not being able to access uh, the front lines to get to medical personnel, right. having to be carried through the crowd to get right. the uh, help that you need. So yes, if people yeah. had it on hand, uh, yeah. they can administer it and be able to save a life. Narcan is expected to be available over the counter by the end of summer, but if you are in need, you can always head here to Eisenhower, go to the emergency room and get one for free. Live in Rancho Mirage, Samantha Mebao, News Channel 3. Owner of Ronnie's House for Hope, a local grief support group, is also a big advocate for Narcan. Jennifer Lowe's son, Stephen, passed away nearly three years ago from fentanyl poisoning. She says Narcan could have saved his life and that she carries it with her everywhere. Loza encourages people to learn how it's used and let go of any negative stigma. You don't always get a second chance. So it, Stigma is irrelevant. We have to not care what other people think and we have to do what's best for ourselves. So we shouldn't be afraid to ask for what we may need. If your business is in need of Narcan training, Loza says you can contact her at the website on the screen to set one up.